The recent fight over an audio tape made by a Bradley County judge has renewed interest in a 10 year old murder case. Now, Chattanooga police say that audio tape made by former Judge John Hagler won't help them find the killer of a local priest, but they're hoping that you might have the clue to solve this cold case. It's a story you'll see only on 12. It's July 16, 1997. A neighbor of Marty Davis sees a young black man in his teens or early 20s walk into his house, then come back out a few minutes later. That neighbor then gets another neighbor to investigate. They go around to the side, look in windows, and they see Marty's body lying on the, on the floor in the living room. Episcopalian priest Marty Davis was shot multiple times with a small caliber weapon, leading to another murder investigation in Chattanooga. The Marty Davis investigation has proved to be a tough case to crack. Over the last 10 years, detectives have interviewed more than 35 potential suspects. They keep coming back to this composite sketch of the man neighbors saw going into Davis's home. But who is this young man, and why would he kill a local priest? Here's what we do know about the murder investigation. As a priest, Marty Davis was very involved in helping those in need whether it meant going into a bad neighborhood to deliver food or helping the homeless. A suspect could have come out of any of these little, you know, any of these, he was. Marty's brother, Tommy Davis, says before his brother died, he was living in fear. He had been threatened uh, by someone throwing a rock through his window with a note attached to it. He was getting drive-by threats uh, when he was going into certain neighborhoods to deliver to delivering food to elderly people. He was receiving threats. Which brings us back to the young man who police believe pulled the trigger. Was it someone that Marty Davis had helped? Other neighbors later confirmed they saw this suspect in the neighborhood earlier on the day Marty died. After all these years, though, investigators still can't identify their prime suspect. It's just really, really strange that he'd walk in in the middle of the day, do what he did, walk out, be seen as much as he did, and just vanish. That's why the family and Chattanooga investigators hope you can help them solve this case. After more than a decade, Tommy Davis says that would bring some closure. I want to know why. Why, Marty, if you knew him, Marty, Marty was a nice guy. He, 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 just, he just wasn't a person that would precipitate or bring on that type of brutality. I'd like to know who, I'd like to know why. Uh, I, I may not ever know on this earth. If you know what happened to Marty Davis or if you think you know who killed him, please call Chattanooga Police.